To begin this game, we have starts with I, sports trivia, the Great Lakes, fictional characters, potent potables, and sudden death. The University of Pennsylvania is one of eight colleges in this league. While it's an infraction in hockey, it really makes the cake. On Superman TV series, rank of Metropolis Policeman William Henderson. In cities, it's usually surrounded by four crosswalks. This saint was born in the castle of Loyola, Espieta, Spain. Why not? Give me a break. Uh, you better believe I'm going to do some cheating at some point soon. The city of his birth provided Charles Dylan Stengel with his nickname, Casey. Now, because you owe me some more. Name of the sports-oriented comic strip by Jeff Millar and Bill Hands. Hang on a second. You're really going to insist that I type all of this out, huh? So that recovers what I lost, or rather what you took from me, and what I should have gotten. Now, as penalty for fucking with me, easternmost and westernmost of the five Great Lakes. Should be this one. Fuck you and your phrasing. In 1986, this Chicago running back became the first pro football player to appear on a Wheaties box front.
In 1986, this ABC show will have celebrated the thrill of its 25th anniversary. Since S stands for sacrifice, this letter has been used to symbolize strikeout since the 1860s. Sixty percent of this country's population lives adjacent to the Great Lakes. It's Hiawatha's Gichigumi, shining big sea water, and big it is. Big, you say? Farmer's Almanac claims the biggest source of pollution for Lake Ontario is this other Great Lake. These two lakes can be considered one since they are joined by the deep, wide Straits of Mackinac. Now see, you're calling for two lakes this time. That's what you should have done for the other, else implying one lake reaches in either direction, or both directions, I should say. Novel which features the Joad family, Dust Bowl farmers who moved to California. <laughs> With this fun couple, he was her man, but he done her wrong, so she shot him. It's said Jefferson Davis used to lace this bourbon drink with a tablespoon of French brandy. It's who, on June 3rd, 1953, jumped off the Hall Tallahatchie Bridge. <laughs> Funny joke, anyway. Wilfred, son of Cedric the Saxon, is the title character of this Sir Walter Scott novel. Mm. 
In 1925, Anita Luce's novel, It is the Hair Color of Lorelei Lee. Totally forgot to pause it. She helped grandfather to tend goats and Clara, an invalid child, to walk. During his seven voyages, he was sold into slavery, met the Cyclops, and got stuck on two desert islands. It's added to gin fizz to make it fizz. Mixers measure that can run about a 32nd of an ounce, not a hundred yards. Whether called a golden spike, golden screw, or screwdriver, it contains these two liquids. From Latin to open, it's a drink taken to open the meal. Who cares what it's called, just drink it. According to the great Karnak, the noise a sheep makes when it explodes. Uh, now I'm worried. <laughs> Jeez. A proverb states, see this Italian port city and die. see Naples and die, huh? And the last clue. Though this actor died a sudden death on Dallas in 1985, he showed up in the shower in 1986. Bobby Ewing and the infamous Dream Season. Loved that show, though. Right, double jeopardy. And we have In the Ocean, Anatomy, 1955, Food and Drink, The Beatles, and Literary Wood. Do I want to know? Never mind. The Harmony Encyclopedia of Rock says their name was inspired by this American group with an insect name. Among songs on his first solo album were Gat Kirwani, Fabla and Pagavaj, 
and Guru Vandana. Phrase it like that, it's one of three at this point in time. In April, Queen Elizabeth named Anthony Eden to succeed him as Prime Minister. copies of his 1834 autobiography were printed in 1955 because of a kid's fad. It's the largest bone of the face and the only one that moves freely. The lower jaw, without which you couldn't talk. His book, The Silent World, has been called the Skin Diver's Bible. In this poem, Samuel Woodworth paid tribute to part of a well. With about 40 times the total surface area of the skin, it's where the blood picks up oxygen. Triangular in shape, 20 feet across and weighing over 3,000 pounds, this raised name is Spanish for blanket. for the nostril of a whale. Time life called them the most primitive creatures to have mouth and stomach, but no backbone. Interestingly enough, no brain either. While they recorded their first album in less than a day, this mid-1967 album took months. Lonely Hearts Club. Pretty amazing range of time. The girl in Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds has this type of eyes. Never heard the song, but some kind of jewel maybe? Kaleidoscopic.
As Ben Franklin wrote, these fell great oaks. I'm not even going to go where I'm going with that. Alice, Brenda, Connie, Diane, Edith, Flora, Gladys, Hilda, Ione, and Janet. Who had ten daughters and an alphabetic sense of humor? Flavor of Wrigley's Big Red Gum. Cherry. Cinnamon Gum. What a shoal is normally made of. <laughs> Known as Dem Bums, they defeated the Yankees in 55 to win their first World Series. Among his poems are Birches, The Sound of the Trees, and Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. Grain that's malted in malted milk. Three men, Richard Nixon, Stiles Bridges, and Walter, Walter Franklin Bridge, held this position in the Senate in 1955. It's both a drink of liqueur over shaved ice and a sherbet-like fruit-flavored mixture. In the Lola, the champagne tasted like this cola. Must be some marketing campaign that I'm not aware of. Mm. 
uterine duct named after 16th century Italian anatomist who first described it. Am I going to be shooting myself? No, I'm not. Oh, uterus, not urethra. The Bourguignon in, Bur in beef Bourguignon refers to this region of France. Okay, you know what? You, mm. Mm. you, you've earned something here. Function in common to the nose and kidney. A strong descriptive adjective for an oak or British author of Under the Greenwood Tree. Body parts most associated with twiddling. His first name is really James, but he uses this, his middle name. It's what Mason Locke Weems wrote that George Washington did as a child with a little hatchet. Well, this I probably need to blame on the idiot writers, or coders, I should say. How, how did you want this worded? Y'all out there are my witnesses. I've been screwed repeatedly here. I'm definitely not going to know this question for Nobel Prize, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the thing that we've been doing. The only two presidents to win the Nobel Prize and run against each other in 18, or 1912. Oh, I misread the thing. 
Well, the last one's my own fault. Uh, but yeah, the reason I generally don't play this seriously, more demonstration like this, is because of that. You saw how many clues I got fucked on. And considering the fact that spelling doesn't count in the real Jeopardy except in final, and even then broad interpretation, you know, can't really take that sitting down. But anyway, until the next one.